Okay, next question. I would love to hear what your personal and professional perspective is on healthy decision making around relationships to stay or to go and what steps to take to help clear that gray area of indecision and potentially what does a healthy breakup look like in this term in these times okay so first of all if you are physically emotionally financially uh, sexually in any way abused in your current relationship get out i'm not condoning any kind of actual violence i'm not talking about perceived Uh, abuse I'm talking about actual abuse if you are actually abused in your current relationship go to the police go to someone you trust and 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 uh, respect and get help okay that's number one that's the, has to be the starting premise now for you question asker I don't assume that you are in a, an abusive relationship because your question doesn't outline that so I'm not going to assume that uh, so your question was Uh, I would love to hear your uh, personal and professional perspective perspectives on healthy decision making around relationships to stay or to go. If you are in a relationship and it's not going how you want it to go, then you leaving the relationship before you actually do everything you can to change that within the relationship will only attract to you the same relation same type of relationship again so that you can actually learn what you need to learn and that's why often you know people leave relationships and end up in similar relationships again if they don't look at their stuff i don't actually recommend unless you're being abused i don't recommend that you leave a relationship until you c have come to the conclusion together that you are no longer compa uh, compatible now have i always that done that myself no do i wish that i'd done that for sure and i don't have a string of relationships with people you know in my past where people hate me in fact i don't know that there are any of my exes that hate me Um, there are certainly people that I, um, I regret getting involved with, but you know, we all have those, um, and maybe they do or don't hate me. I don't know, but I don't have, I, you know, personally, I still am in contact with some, some of my exes. Um, I don't really, it's not something that I look for, but you know, these are people who are good people. There's a reason why I got into a relationship with them in the first place and um and i respect them as people and i wish all the best for them and so why wouldn't i be you know friendly with them or friends with them or whatever but it's not something that i um i don't um i don't personally believe in i think everyone's relationships are uh have to be right for them and personally for me my main relationship is with my partner so whoever i'm with That is my main relationship and every other relationship uh, come after that for me because that's who I am and that's how I, you know, operate. It might be different for you. That's fine. Now, if you don't, so if you want to be in a relationship in general, but you don't want to be in this relationship, um, And you and you kind of feel like you know i i'd rather be alone like i'd rather be alone and learn these things before i get into a new relationship so i want to have a good relationship but i don't need to be alone so that i can learn these things and then be in a relationship the thing about that is that you can only re you can only learn to be in a relationship by being in a relationship and i know it's hard and i know it's it brings us up the whole repertoire to our stuff any problem that you ever have about yourself or any insecurities or any issues that you have about you know within yourself relationships will bring that out so will being in business so will having kids all of those things that are that truly have the capacity to hurt us are the ones that will make us most vulnerable and and it's understandable that you wouldn't want to be vulnerable and you wouldn't want to be hurt um i think that A healthy breakup looks uh, like 
the two of you sitting down and and talking about without blame, without shame, without guilt, without any kind of passive aggressive, any with no hooks whatsoever. You sit down and you talk about um wanting the best for the other person, knowing that the best is somebody other than you and that you agree on that. There's so much around this issue that you'll probably have some follow-up questions and I'm happy to go into those. But my personal perspective is that if you're indecisive about whether to go or stay, then it's not time to go. Then you haven't done everything you can to make it work. And you haven't done, you haven't brought your best to the table yet. So find out what kind of partner you want to be. And then commit to being that partner for six to 12 months. Commit to being that partner that you want to be. And see if that relationship is in fact the best match for both of you. That's what I would say to you. I hope that answers your question. Happy to answer any follow-up questions. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear what you think. Have you had good breakups in the past? I've had some really bad breakups in the past in terms of, uh, you know, being left and having those issues, you know, abandonment issues from my childhood and then being really like my heart being ripped out of my chest by being left by partners for whatever reason. Um, but, those experiences shouldn't stop you from loving and developing yourself to become the partner that you want to be. I mean, the thing is that you can't have deep intimacy if you don't have um, disagreements. So if you're in a space where you don't know if you should stay or leave your relationship, you might actually find that having a really frank, honest open, vulnerable, raw conversation with your partner will actually bring you closer together and you look back at your situation right now and you think, you know, I'd never want to be without this person. What was I thinking? So, yeah, let me know. Let me know how you go.